Okay, in the last week, what we are discussed is Gauss law and its applications. And uh, of course, at that moment, we are represented the Maxwell's equation as a delta D is equal to rho V also. Okay, and this Gauss law is represented with different charge distributions also we are represented. Now, from that particular discussion, we are moving into the second case that is called energy and potential. So that is a new topic in the third unit that is called energy and potential. So what we are discussed in the previous section, sir, the electric field intensity due to the charge distributions from the Coulomb's law. Okay. Now, what is the case is up to now what we are discussed the electric field intensity I can find out as a force which is called a vector or I can define by using the flux density I can represent as an electric field intensity that flux density is also in a vectorial form as d is equal to r my f is equal to am I correct or not e is equal to what you are represented in terms of that is a force is equal to you are represented in terms of forces you are represented or in terms of flux density you are represented. So all these things are represented in terms of vectorial form. Now the relation with the scalar form also we want to represent. That is a potential, the relation between the electric field intensity and a potential. That is the main aim under this heading we are going to discuss. Okay, so now in before going to the potential, we are going to represent one particular case, what is called work done in a moving point charge in an electric field. Put the subheading as like this, work done in a moving point charge work done in a moving point charge in an electric field. Put the subheading as like this. First is first we want to define that work done. OK, now what is the case is write down like this. Consider. An electric field E. Consider an electric field E due to a positive charge Q in the free space. Consider an electric field intensity E due to a positive charge Q in the free space. OK. Now the second course point is I want to go for the if a test charge QT another charge I want to place. If a test charge QT. QT. Is placed at any point. Is placed at any point in this field okay so therefore what is the effect it experiences i want to represent continuation it experiences it experiences a force and it tends to move this is very important and it tends to move along the direction of the force. So 
So here, what is the case is I want to place the test charge. I should be clear, represented. This is in a diagrammatically. Therefore, you can understand very carefully. For example, assuming I have created an electric field with a point point charge Q. If a, a charge will be there in this particular region, okay, charge will be there. Therefore, I can represent the electric field intensity, okay. So now, what is the case? I should place a one more charge as a QT. For example, assuming this is a one more charge QT is placed. Okay, in this particular field only. Now, see, understand. I am not placed in the outside of the field. I am placed inside of the field only. So it experiences a force. Okay, and it tends to move. So therefore, this charge will be this point charge is moved in which direction? Along the force direction itself, it will be there. Now, what is the case is let QT be the positive charge. Originally, what is your Q? Q is also a positive charge. Now, QT be also a positive charge. So, therefore, due to the, therefore, this is a positive charge and this also a positive charge. Due to the repulsive force between Q and now, due to repulsive force. Due to the repulsive force between the Q and QT. Okay, due to the repulsive force between Q and QT. So, therefore, what is that the charge QT will be moved? The charge QT will be moved away from Q. What is this? I can represent like this, not in this direction. Are you following my point? Are you understand? So one more charge I should be placed. Okay. So therefore, it will be moving away from the charge Q. Okay. Now, let DL be the distance in mood. I want to write like this. Let DL be the distance moved by QT. What is this? I want to represent this is DL. This is the distance. This is the distance DL. Let the DL be the distance moved by QT along the direction AL bar. I should represent along the direction along the direction please please one second if it represent very clearly al bar therefore that is the according to the coulomb's law what we are represented therefore f is equal to qt into e you know this is the case are you understand this particular point? What we are represented is I should consider a field in the region due to the point charge Q. Assuming the point charge Q is a positive charge. Assuming the point charge is a assuming the point charge Q is a positive charge. And in that particular field only, I should place one more charge as a test charge, which is represented as a QT. So therefore, automatically, what is the case? It experiences a force. Once I should place it in the in the field region, therefore it experiences a force. Okay. So and that charge also, test charge also, assuming as a positive charge. This test charge also, I am assuming a positive charge. So both are in the same same charges. That is the reason due to the repulsive force between Q and QT. The charge QT will be moved away from the Q with a distance DL. Okay, so those things are all represented in a diagram, assuming the charge will be there. Okay, now therefore, what is according to Coulomb's law? What I should represent it? F is equal to QE 
but uh, what is that because of qt the charge the force will be there therefore i should represent it f is equal to qt into e now what is my question is now to keep this stress charge in equilibrium now what is the case is to keep this stress charge in equilibrium Sorry, this is is it visible now? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. To to keep this test charge in equilibrium. so what is that an equal and opposite force an equal and opposite force is to be applied an equal and opposite force is to be applied on qt so to keep now that is the test charge is in the moving case i don't want to go for moving so therefore i should place it some work with, that is i want to keep this test charge in equilibrium an equal and opposite force is to be applied on qt so therefore what is that f applied is equal to i want to write like this f applied is equal to minus f am i correct equal and opposite charge that is what is the case minus i can represent like this minus qt into e i should represent now this is called work done what is that we know that now represent are you following my point to keep this test charge in equilibrium therefore i what is the meaning of equilibrium i don't go for the moving because of the charges two charges are there where where, the, where it should be there in the electric field so therefore one charge the test charge will be moving away from the original charge because of two charges are in the repulsive force same charges positive charges so therefore due to the repulsive force between q and qt it should be away from q but what is our idea i don't go for the moving of that case so therefore what is that i want to apply the same force against that particular qt so therefore f applied is equal to minus f which is equal to minus qt into e now write down we know that here i want to represent the definition of the work done we know that the differential work done the differential work done by an external sometimes you can represent applied also best by an external or applied because it can be applied and rasayan kadandi by an external source the differential work done by an external source in a moving point charge qt in a moving point charge qt through a differential length dl differential is it uh, am am audible am i there in the link can you give the response sir yes sir so we know that the differential work done by an external source in a moving point qt through a differential length dl 
against to the electric field or you can write like this for your easy understanding point of view against to the electric field you can represent instead of against you should write that opposite to the electric field also for your easy understanding nothing will be there both are same is work done is equal to force into distance or original formula force into distance that is dw is equal to minus qe dl dw is equal to minus qe dot dl okay differential work done what is the case we are represented differential work done is equal to what we are represented with a differential length dl so what is in general what is the case the total work done if i should represent in general the total work done total work done by an applied force in a moving unit point by a applied force in a we should write like this in a moving a unit positive charge from point a to point b in the electric field e is given by in general the total work done by an applied force in a moving unit positive charge okay from the point a to point b in the electric field e is given by w is equal to from the first equation dw i should represent it like this integral a to b dw that is integral a to b minus qt here also what is the case is here also that is the case here it is not q it is qt qt minus qt e dot dl that is if i should take an outside integral a to b e dot dl which is this is represented work done as a joules understand what is the what we are represented first case is it is our heading itself what is the case is i want to represent energy and potentials in that head side heading the work done in a moving point charge in an electric field that is the reason what we are idea what is we are considered an electric field e is there in a particular region due to a charge q that charge is a positive charge Are you following my point? That charge is a positive charge. Now we are going to introduce one more positive charge as a QT in the same field. So it experiences a force. Okay, but due to the repulsive force between, because of the same charges are there, repulsive force will be available. So therefore, due to the repulsive force between Q and QT, 
okay the charge qt will be moving away from q the charge qt is moving that is the reason what we are represented here it is away from the in, in it is away from the q it is not from along uh, in this direction i should not represent it away from q with a distance of dl it should be moved at a distance of dl with a direction of al bar al bar means in general i should represent it so therefore according to coulomb's law what we are represented f is equal to qt into e so therefore it is a moving that is the reason our heading is also moving point charge why i am represented moving point charge now it is a moving point charge but what is our idea i want to place this point charge in equilibrium position so therefore i should apply a say work done i will i will be completed a work what is that i will apply a force which is an equal and opposite force on qt therefore work done is equal to that is the meaning of your case now if the work done is understand carefully if the work done is negative here you should note down one point if the work done is negative what is the meaning of this one work is done by the external agency have you followed my point work is done by the external agency because external force is applied that is the meaning of that if the work done is positive otherwise second case is instead of negative i should consider as an if the work done is in positive what is the meaning of this one work is done by the field itself so what is that internally due to the electric field only it should be in the case so understand carefully there are two cases also we are represented what is that pre what i want to represent this also as what is a and what is b for example i should consider this is a line chart line as this is a point a and point b assuming this is an origin assuming this is an origin okay now this is a distance this is a moving i should consider as a dl this is the point okay this is a radial vector r a and this is a radial vector r b and if because of the differential i should consider this is an r assuming this is an entirely with the electric field this is in the region that is the meaning of work done what you are represented understand carefully point a to point b what is the meaning of that one is you should understand okay you need positive charge q from point a to point b it is moving so therefore the work done what we are represented clear is it okay any doubts are there you can raise that your doubts please now for the work done for this particular topic can you raise any doubts or can we move yes sir okay now put the separate heading a separate subheading instead of work done now i should extend this particular case as an electric potential this is a general definition i should represent it electric potential is at a point p write down the definition electric potential electric potential at a point p due to a fixed charge q due to a fixed charge q is defined as 
is defined as the work done the work done in moving one coulomb of charge in moving one coulomb of charge from infinity from infinity to the point b sorry to the point p man observation point p anukunnam to the point p in an electric field e against the force is created against the force created by the charge created by the fixed charge are you represented electric potential original definition the electric potential at a point p due to a fixed charge q is defined as the work done in a moving one coulomb of charge from infinity to point p in an electric field against a force created by the fixed charge is created by the fixed charge this is the definition from eckerd chand from here the work done in a moving one coulomb of charge from the infinity to the point p in an electric field against the force created by the fixed charge that is mathematically i should represent vp is equivalent to w by q which is equivalent to minus integral infinity to a sorry infinity to p e dot d which is unit sir joule super coulomb which is r simply it is what is the meaning of joule super coulomb volts and this is a potential understand carefully what is this is an electric potential is defined as w by q which is represented as minus integral infinity to p e dot dl and this potential is a scalar quantity now understand carefully this potential is a scalar quantity this potential is a scalar quantity Are you represented? This is the case. Now, from this, what we are represented? Actually, instead of a potential, we are represented as generally the definition is a potential difference. We are not writing generally in a, in all the other cases in our representation. We don't write that potential. What we are going to represent potential difference. So that is the reason. What is the meaning of a potential difference? potential difference means work done it is defined as it is defined as work done in a moving of unit charge work done in a moving unit charge from a point a to point b here it is very important thing i should represent don't that is vba is equal to 
point A to point B. I want to observe at point B. That is the reason potential difference VBA, which is equivalent to W by Q, which is equivalent to minus integral A to B E dot DL. What is A? Initial value, initial point. A is an initial point. And B is a final point. Then I can represent the potential difference as VBA. The notation I should represent is very important. VBA as minus integral A to B. I want to represent in another form. Another form. For example, potential at a point A with respect to B, if I should write like this. Can you tell me? Potential at a point that is potential means potential difference at a point A due to point B. What is the meaning of this one? Mathematically, can you tell me what is that for us? What is that? V potential at a point. Now understand carefully what is that? Now here what you are represented. Work done in a moving unit charge from point A to point B means VBA point B. I want to observe that the potential difference will be at point B due to point A. Now what do you hear? What is that? Potential at a point A due to point B that is VBA is equivalent to. Sorry, VAB is equivalent to. Sorry. Potential at a point A due to point B potential at a point A due to point B. Now see potential at a point B due to point A. Which is equivalent to what I should represent minus integral B to A E dot DL. Are you following my point? Are you understand this is the case potential difference the girl director part call and should understand very carefully potential difference potential difference means you should understand carefully what is that initial point and what is that final point if you know then only we are represented vba means integral a to b e dot dl of course minus integral a to b e dot dl clear yes sir. you understand my point yes sir is there any doubt in that potential and potential differences? No, sir. OK, now I want to go for one more extension of my electric fields. OK, now up to this is everyone knows this is the case. Now consider I want to go for the extension. Consider a point charge Q. Consider a point charge Q is located at the origin. This is very important. It is located at the origin. Is located at the origin. Comma. Assume the field has a spherical symmetry. Assume the field. Field means electric field. Assume the field has a spherical symmetry. And the equipotential surfaces. Equipotential surfaces. Then E is equivalent to what is that originally? Sorry. For point charge. E then E is equivalent to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught r square a r bar in general. 
and from this what is my vab minus integral vab and minus integral rb to ra is q pi 4 pi epsilon naught r square now i want to go for dr bar because in the spherical surfaces what is ra and rb ra and rb are the spherical surfaces spherical radiuses ra and rb are the spherical surface radius Okay. Now, therefore, VAB is equal to what is VAB potential difference? What is that? I want to take an outside this Q by 4 pi epsilon naught is a constant. Okay, minus integral 1 by r square dr. What is this? 1 by r r b to r a. If I will apply, what is the case? Q by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by R A minus 1 by R B. Now, again, I want to discuss one again. What is that meaning of? Potent VAB means potential at a point A due to point B. What is VAB? Again, here I should write that for your understanding purpose. Several times I want to write. You can also represent potential at a point A due to point B. Now, my, my, I want to represent, assuming my RB is equal to infinite. What is that? VA is equal to. VA is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught RA. Because 1 by infinite is a 1 by large value. is a small nothing. Therefore, it is 0, almost all 0. Am I correct or not? Are you following my point? Where my RB is infinite if I should consider. What is an infinite point if I should take into the case? In general, from this I should represent in general, a general case. What is that? In general also we want to write specifically. In general, the potential at any point, this I should represent like this, the potential at any point on the spherical surface with a radius r on the spherical surface with radius r is v is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon naught r that's a Instead of R A, I should represent it. That is the reason. The potential at any point on the spherical surface with a spherical radius of R is represented as V is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught R. Understand carefully. Okay. If I know that a point charge, then I can find out the potential. Are you following my point? But the condition is there, understand carefully. What is this condition? Condition is the point charge Q is located at the origin. You should understand this is the point what we are represented. What is this what is this potential V means? The point charge will be located. Sir, if the point charge is no, not located at the origin, therefore we will discuss that particular point now. Are you following my point? Where my point charge is not located at the origin of the surface. For example, what is the meaning of this one? Assuming, assuming this is my origin and this is one 
point charge will be located at the uh, from the origin it is i should represent r1 and assuming this is my observation point this is please one second one second i think some of the students are coming at this time this is the observation point now what is this r minus r1 Now see what we are represented. Not located at the origin. The point charge. If write down like this. If the point charge is not located at the origin. Previous cases is located at the origin. We are clearly represented. Now it is not located at the origin. Now previously, if you go back to the case. what we are represented consider a point charge q is located at the origin okay now we are not represented like that if the point charge is not located at the origin therefore v of r is equal to at this moment what is that v of r q by i think q1 by here it i should represented q1 therefore q1 by 4 pi epsilon not what i should represent R minus R one bar from the observation point to the Q one. It is represented as R minus R one. We tell us in the observation point to source point. So therefore, R minus R one I should represent. That's for example, instead of a single point charge, assuming if the two point charges are located not at the origin of the coordinate system. Well, how this will be? So, for example, this is my Q1. Assuming this is R is n. Okay. Assuming this is observation point. Okay. So from this, it is. I should not disturb your theory. What is this? Is R1? This is R. now what is this is r minus r1 i can represent one more charge q2 from the origin it is r2 i should represent therefore from the observation point what we are represented this is r minus r2 Two point charges are there. Are you following my point? At that moment, what is your V of R potential for the two point charges? It is Q one by four pi epsilon naught R minus R one plus Q two by four pi epsilon naught R minus R two. Are you followed my point? Assuming like this, it is an n-point charges are there. Imagine that is n-point charges are there. 
okay so then we will discuss this particular the point extension of this one in the tomorrow's class okay i want to close at this stage okay v of r is equal to this is the case we are represented okay so if you have any doubts you can raise your doubts now whatever the doubts you have you can raise please otherwise